The Jack Benny Program, presented by Lucky Strike. When you buy, keep your eye on the red bullseye. Keep your eye on the red bullseye. When you buy, keep your eye on Lucky Strike. L-S-M-F-T. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. At 50, American. Lucky Strike presents The Man Who Knows, Mr. Henry Snell of Lexington, Kentucky. With 32 years' experience in handling tobacco, this warehouse owner said recently, Season after season, I've seen the makers of Lucky Strike buy fine, mild, ripe tobacco. At market after market, experts like Mr. Snell, men who really know tobacco, can see the makers of Lucky Strike consistently select and buy that fine, that light, that naturally mild tobacco. So, when you buy, keep your eye on the red bullseye. Keep your eye on the red bullseye. When you buy, keep your eye on Lucky Strike. And remember, L-S-M-F-T. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So smoke that smoke of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. So round, so firm, so fully packed, so free and easy on the draw. The Lucky Strike program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, and yours truly, Don Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, the last few weeks, Jack Benny has been taking his golf game very seriously, playing every day. In fact, right and early this morning, Jack and Rochester got in the car and started for the Hillcrest Country Club. This is going to be a lovely day, Rochester. I can feel it. Uh-huh. You know, fall is the nicest season of the year. Uh-huh. And it's so, it's so invigorating early in the morning. Uh-huh. <laughs> What'd you stop the car for? I gotta lift up the door. We ain't out of the garage yet. <laughs> oh, yes, these Quonset huts are so long. You know? <laughs> now, Rochester, go straight down Rexford and turn right on... No, no, turn left on Wilshire Boulevard. I don't want to pass Pico and Sepulveda. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, Rochester... Fall is my favorite season, when the leaves start turning golden brown and the fragrant breeze wafts them gently to Mother Earth. And at the close of each day, as the sun sinks beyond the horizon, it seems like some elfin painter has gilded the sky and left it glowing with a hundred brilliant colors. Ah, what fools men are, not to halt their breathless pace and admire the beauties of nature. Rochester, what are you stopping for now? I got to open the gateway and out of the driveway. <laughs> oh, yes. I better hurry, Rochester. I'm supposed to meet... What are you looking at? There's smoke coming out of the exhaust pipe. Huh? Let me see. Oh, that's just a little smoke. A little? If we could get this thing off the ground, we could do sky riding. <laughs> Oh, it's all right. Come on, let's get going. You know, I'm supposed to meet Phil Harris at the golf club at 10.30. Oh, boy, I can hardly wait till I get out on that course. The way I've been playing lately, I bet I'll... Oh, oh, Rochester. Rochester, pull over at the curb and slow down. Pull over. Oh, miss? Oh, miss? Going down Wilshire, miss? Drive on, Rochester. <laughs> you never give up, do you, boy? Rochester, I merely wanted to give her a lift. You know, it never hurts to be kindly and lend a helping hand to those less fortunate who haven't got a car. Someday the tables may be turned, and I might... Come on down, Wilson, mister. Get lost. The tables may be turned, and it might be me who's in the same spot. I wonder why that girl wouldn't... I could understand it if I wasn't good-looking or something. Maybe it's the car, boss. Why don't you trade it in for a newer model? What for? This car always takes us where we want to go. I know, but look how much older we are when we get there. (laughs) 
What's the difference? That's the trouble, Rochester. Everybody's in a hurry. Everybody's rushing through life. They don't stop to enjoy the beauties of nature. Like now, it's fall. The leaves are turning golden brown. And the fragrant breeze wafts them gently to Mother Earth. And at the close of each day as the sun sinks beyond the horizon, it seems like some elf container has gilded the sky and left it glowing with a hundred... Boss! Boss! Stop! You're upsetting the motor! <laughs> I guess you're right. And Rochester, drive more in the middle of the street. The falling leaves are denting the fenders. <laughs> Maybe I will trade this in. Oh, Rochester. Rochester. Pull over to the curb again. It's the same girl, boss. We ain't passed her yet. <laughs> I don't mean her. The one on the corner. Going down Wilshire, honey? Yeah, thanks, Mr. Benny. What? <laughs> Dennis, what's the idea of wearing a green dress? Oh, I'm not wearing a green dress. I'm standing behind a mailbox. <laughs> mailbox? You better wear your glasses, boss. Last week, you almost picked up the sunset bus. <laughs> yeah. I thought she was winking at me, but it was the taillight. <laughs> Hop in, Dennis. Okay, thanks. Dennis, would you like to come along with me? I'm going to play... I'm going to Hillcrest to play golf with Phil. Well, that's where I was going, and Phil Harris promised to caddy for me again. Phil Harris caddies for you? Yeah, and he makes it so easy for me to play the game. All I have to do is carry the bag, tee up the ball, and Phil hits it for me. <laughs> Dennis. If he doesn't start hitting them better, I'm going to get a new caddy. Dennis. Dennis, boy, boy, look at me. Huh? Let me explain something to you. When you carried the bag, Phil wasn't caddying for you. You were caddying for him. I was? Certainly. Gee, how I ever got two shows, I'll never know. It's amazing. Rochester, turn on the radio. We ain't got no radio. Then sing something, will you, Dennis? I can't stand any more of that talk. Okay.
park here, Rochester, and I'll meet you on the first tee. I'm having lunch uh, with Miss Livingston. See you later, Dennis. Dum dee da dum boom. Da dee da da dum. Da 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 dum bum dee dum. Hello, Mr. Benny. Hello. Yes, Molly and me and Fibber McGee. We're happy with our new Hooper. La 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 Turn to the right and Harris is tight. Yeah, I wonder where I wonder where Mary's sitting. Hello, Jack. Oh, oh hello, Mary. I thought you were gonna be alone. What? Who are your friends? Those are my golf clubs. Put on your glasses. <laughs> oh. Oh, I wondered what they were all doing on one chair. The Niblick... The Niblick looks like Abe Blastvogel. Mary! Mary, did you order something to eat? Yes, and I ordered a sandwich for you, too. Good, good. You know, I can hardly wait to get out of that golf course. I'm playing Phil today. Oh, Jack, you shouldn't play against Phil. He's too good for you. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Look how George Burns beat you yesterday. Well? And the day before that, you took a trimming from Cagney. All right, Cagney, so I was off my game. What about last week when I played O'Brien? But, Jack, you're so much bigger than she is. (laughs) Well? When she sunk that 20-foot putt, you got so mad you kicked her doll in the sand trap. Who wouldn't be mad? Every time I got ready to drive, the doll would go, Mama, Mama. What tricks those kids use. And for 10 cents a hole. <laughs> You'd think that... Oh, Mary, Mary, there's Lou Clayton and Artie Stebbins. Gee, they're great golfers. They hit the ball almost every time they swing at it. <laughs> And Mary, look, look, there's Norman Krasner over there. Norman Krasner? Yeah, he's the fellow that loved that joke I told last year. You know, the one about like a moose needs a hat rack. (laughs) Oh, he was crazy about it. He was? Yeah, watch this. Hey, Norman, like a moose needs a hat rack. See? Every, every time I mention it, he goes crazy. I never saw anything like it. Hey, hey, there's Don Wilson sitting at the next table there. Where? Right over there. Oh, waiter! Waiter, will you take my order, please? Yes, sir. Uh, what do you have, Mr. Wilson? Uh, now, let's see. I'll start out with a bowl of oxtail soup and a combination salad. Oh, a nice thick sirloin steak and mashed potatoes, some string beans, some carrots, and a side order of spinach, a little cauliflower, and uh, some hot rolls and coffee. Yes, sir. Any dessert? I don't know. What kind of pie have you got? Apple, blueberry, peach, custard, raisin, and pineapple. Good. I'll have them. (laughs) Yes, sir. (laughs) Did you hear that, Mary? How can Don digest all that food? Well, don't you remember Jack last summer he was operated on? Yeah. What did they take out? Nothing. They put in a deep freeze. That's pretty good, Mary. Deep freeze. Hey, Norman, did you hear that? <laughs> I knew he'd like it. Well, I better get going in that locker room and... Pl- oh, Mary. Mary, there's George Fazio. He's the pro out here at Hillcrest. Remember last year he won the Canadian Open? Oh, yes. And, Mary, I've been taking lessons from him, and what he's done for my golf game is simply wonderful. Oh, George! George, come here a minute, will you? Hiya, George. Hello, Jack. (laughs) George, George, I was just telling Mary how much you've helped my game. I'm glad I have, Jack, and thanks for the check. Oh, that's quite all right, George. It was money well spent. You know, I'm going to play Phil today. Phil Harris? Yes. Well, do you think you can keep him interested in the game? What do you mean? The last time I played with him, I had to paint the ball green and put a pimento in it. (laughs) Oh. I'll bet he didn't have the heart to hit it. Yeah. 
Anyway, I'm going to meet him in the locker room. Oh, boy, I can't wait to get him out of that course. Do you remember all the things I've taught you, Jack? Oh, sure, sure, George. Well, let's find out. Your stance? Feet apart. Your grip? Interlocking. Your age? 38. <laughs> well, I gotta run along now. So long, George. So long, Jack. Mary. Mary, I'm going into the locker room and get dressed. If you want to watch us play, I'll see you on the first team. Okay, Jack. Hey, oh, Jack, where are you going? I'm going to the locker room to meet Phil. Oh, now, wait a minute, Jack. I have something here that I want you to hear. Come on over to the jukebox. What? There's a brand new number the Sportsman's Quartet recorded, and it's all about a pack of Lucky Strike cigarettes. Don, my quartet recorded a song about a pack of Lucky Strikes? Yes. Well, I got to hear that. Wait till I get a nickel. Hmm. That's funny. I can't seem to find a nickel in your pocket. <laughs> oh, well, here's one of mine. Don, that song is about a pack of Lucky Strikes? Yeah, where do you hear it? About a pack of Lucky Strikes? How can they? Oh. Pack of oh my heart. I love you, we'll never part I love you, I always knew it would be you Since I smoked your fine turbacker It's your Red Bull's eye I <laughs> When I'm alone, die. I puff you How I have grown die. To lust you, lust you always you. be F-T-F-T-F-T-F-T-F-T-F-T-F-T. Don, the record stuff. I'll fix it. Never mind, I'll hear it later. What a song that was. Hey, Sydney! Sydney, where's Phil? Well, you'll probably be here in a minute. Well, I'm going to get into my golf clothes, get these clothes off. A pretty girl is like a melody. Da-da-dum, be dum boom. Da-da-da-dum, da dee Da-da-da-dum, dee da dee Hey, Jackson, stop parading on that bench. This ain't no runway. <laughs> Oh, hello, Phil. I'll be ready to play in a minute. Uh, hand me my robe, will you? Which one is yours? The red one with the royal crown cola on it. <laughs> Thanks. Say, Phil, how about a little bet on the game? Ten dollars. You know, just to make it interesting. Ten bucks? Okay, but you know, I haven't played for three months. I won't be able to hit the ball. What's the difference, Phil? It's only fifteen dollars. Come on. <laughs> Look, Jackson, I'm tired. I didn't sleep good last night. You know, that floor is awful hard. Phil. Phil, you slept on the floor last night? Yeah, it's the first time I ever missed the bed. <laughs> what? You know, them single beds ain't easy to hit. <laughs> they are if they're standing still. <laughs> now, come on, let's go play. And, Phil, it's not my fault you haven't played golf in three months or that you didn't sleep well. Remember our bet... Twenty dollars. What? Hi, Mary. Hello, Dennis. Sorry we kept you waiting. Well, holy smoke. Get a load of those old-fashioned knickers. These knickers are all right. And that cap hanging over one ear. You look like Jackie Coogan and the kid. All right, all right. Now, come on, let's play. You shoot first, Phil. Okay. Here's your driver, Phil. Thanks, kid. Now, stand back, everybody. Four. Wow, look at that ball go. Look at it go. Look, look. <laughs> 200 yards at the most. Can't understand it after the awful life he's led. <laughs> well, it's my turn now. Rochester, tee up my ball. Yes, sir. A little higher. Higher? It looks like a lollipop now. <laughs> I guess it's all right. 
Well, here goes. Quiet, everybody. Four. Mm. <laughs> and I fanned it. That's one stroke. Don't count out loud. <laughs> I must have been standing too far away. There. That's better. Four. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Darn it. Another fan. I guess I'm holding the club too tight. Well, I'll get it this time. Four. Hmm. I fanned it again. It ought to be cool now. Boss, hit it. <laughs> How can I hit it with all these interruptions? Everybody yelling and screaming at me. I hear it goes. Four, four. What are you fouring about? There's some people standing down there on the green. Well, you won't be there till Thanksgiving. <laughs> Yeah? Well, watch this. Four! Wow! What was that? You broke a window in the clubhouse behind you. <laughs> behind me? Gee, I, I can't get rid of that slice. Oh, well, I'll take a four on this hole. <laughs> Come on, everybody, let's go. Remember our bet, Phil, five dollars. Five dollars? You said thirty. I said fifteen, you cheat. <laughs> now, come on. All right, stand back, everybody. It's my turn. Darn those birds. I wish they'd stop singing. They're throwing me off my game. Maybe they don't know you're playing for money. You can pipe down, too. It's a fine country club, anyway, with birds all around. And, and trees and grass, it's awful. No, oh, keep still. Hey, what hole are we on? We just finished the seventh. How do we stand, Mary? Uh, they're just one point between you. Good, good. Phil has 28, and you have one 28. <laughs> Well, there are two more holes. I've still got a chance. I don't like this club I'm using. Hand me my spoon, Rochester. You broke it over my head on the last hole. <laughs> oh, yes, and give me my brassy. This is the worst game I ever played. Thank heaven it's not for money. Wait a minute. Keep quiet. I'm going to shoot. All right, stand back, everybody. Four. God darn it, what's the matter with me? What did I do that was wrong, Mary? You never should have left Walt Keegan. <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with my game? Rochester, you've seen me play better than this. I uh, have? <laughs> yes. What am I doing that's wrong? Are you right-handed? Yes. Are you using right-handed clubs? Yes. Well, that ain't it. <laughs> Dennis, when I want your advice, I'll ask for it. Hey, Jack, here comes Mr. Fazio, your golf teacher. Oh, yeah. Well, Jack, how's your game going? I want my money back. That's how it's going. <laughs> Fine teacher. Oh, come on, Jack. Hit the ball. It'll be dark pretty soon. Okay, okay. Four. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did the ball go? There it is, by your left foot. <laughs> Oh, yes. Congratulations. It was by your right foot when you started. You don't have to get cute about it. Pardon me, boys. Do you mind if I go through? Why, no. No, lady. Go right ahead. Gee, she's pretty old to be playing golf, isn't she? She sure is. How old are you, lady? Eighty-three. Well, well. Go right ahead. Let's see you hit the ball. Take it easy now. Four. Well, I'll be done. Yippee, I'm on the green. Thanks, boys. You're welcome. (laughs) 
She, 83 years old, and look at her hit that ball. She isn't a day over 70. <laughs> well, I'm too upset. Let's finish the game tomorrow, We're Phil. finishing it right now. Now, go ahead and shoot. Okay. Now, quiet, everybody, while I make this shot. Four! <laughs> wow! Look at that ball go! Yeah, right in the woods. What a slice! Oh. Well, come on, Rochester. Let's look for it. Oh, Jack, you'll never find it. I'll find it. Don't worry. I'll join you on the fairway. See you in a minute. Gosh, it's dark. That ball must be around here someplace. I wish I had a flashlight. Why don't we go home, get a good night's sleep, and continue the hunt in the morning? We're going to find that ball tonight. That's what you said last night. <laughs> last night? Have we been here two nights? And three days. <laughs> well, what's the difference, Rochester? It's fall. The leaves are turning golden brown. The fragrant breeze wafts them gently to Mother's Earth. And at the close of each day... As the sun sinks beyond the horizon, it seems like some elfin painter has gilded the sky and left it glowing with a hundred million. Jack, we'll be back in just a moment. But first, when you buy, keep your eye on the red bullseye. Keep your eye on the red bullseye. Keep your eye on Lucky Strike. L-S-M-F-T. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco, and fine tobacco is what counts in a cigarette. Lucky Strike presents The Man Who Knows. Mr. James Walker, independent tobacco buyer of Durham, North Carolina, has bought tobacco at more than 3,000 auctions. Recently, he said, Season after season, I've seen the makers of Lucky Strike buy a smooth, fragrant, fine tobacco that makes a real fine smoke. So it's only common sense for me to pick Luckies for my own cigarette. Smoked them for 17 years. A Lucky Strike smoker for 17 years. That says it. So when you buy, keep your eye on the red bullseye. Keep your eye on Lucky Strike. And remember, L-S-M-F-T, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So smoke that smoke of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. So round, so firm, so fully packed, so free and easy on the draw. Yes, when you buy, keep your eye on the red bullseye. <laughs> keep your eye on Lucky Strike. Well, I can see better now that the sun's coming up. The ball landed right here on this side of the bush. Or was it on the other side of the bush? No, I guess it was right here. Say, boss, how would you like your eggs? Scrambled soft. Okay, I was lucky I found that bird's nest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how would you like your bacon? Bacon? Where'd you get that? I brought it with me. This happens every time. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, let's see. If the ball hit this tree... It would have landed over by the bunker. Thank you, This is NBC, the national broadcast. <laughs>